Um, my name is Bunny Canino. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a fellow plant lover. So oh, okay. yeah. And so what time of year? I, I would do it any, anywhere from now till um, April. Okay, and about and how much just, do you take just off? Just nicking the top. Just, just deadheading it, basically. Just okay. nicking the top. Perfect. So how about this guy over here? And then this guy, what he needs is all these suckers need to be cleaned out. All this little all these little things and bring it back to these main branches so that it has some form and then in general this guy i wouldn't prune much if you want you can you could bring the tops down like just bring some of this down and get it back in this size that's but about I, the size I want, because I don't want it to overshadow he's, he's this side so much. He's finally getting big. Okay. Um, but all the suckers, if you can, clean those out at the bottom. Just all those little skinny so things. Guy. Yeah, now these, again, with the saw, you're kind of deadheading, but with the saw going about that far. You're just getting all this fluffy. These are old seed heads off. So, you know, it's kind of the... Uh -huh. And then you're bringing it way back down. And okay. all of them, you have that, you have all these, plus you have those two... And just make them little balls got again. It. Pretty big got balls. It. We got the same thing over there. So what about with yeah, these right sunflowers? Just like that. Like that. High. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. All right. Yep. Got that. And sometimes I take, you could take like a big rope and grab it and bring it together. And then it holds once you've cut it. Okay. It's controlled better and it's not such a big mess. Got it. And really, I don't see pruning these. But this is the one shrub, so check out that um, this is the one that it will bloom on last year's growth. So don't do anything so with this So don't cut this okay. until after it oh, yeah, blooms. That's okay. the forsythia. Yeah. Forsythia, too, the only thing that I'd ever do is just any, you know, crossing branches. You know, like stuff like this is what you're trying to avoid. I would take one of these. I think I'd take this little skinny one out. It's rubbing. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. And it's rubbing. Uh -huh. And it's rubbing. So if you just took this one out at the very bottom, you'd get you'd just get a little energy coming into the plant, and you'd stop the this rubbing. To, this to, to spread out, to umbrella out a little bit. Yeah, it's a fountain growth habit. Okay. And it's actually doing pretty good. And the viburnum looked great this year. It bloomed. Look at it yeah. setting up. It really looked good this yeah. year. Yeah. Anything we need to do on that? Still the same thing with like crossing over branches. And yeah. Maybe. Or? Maybe take this this um, sucker. This is sort of a sucker. Uh huh. And then look at that's rubbing. I might take both of these suckers out, okay. just to kind of continue a, a shape. But a lot of these shrubs, these kind of shrubs, you don't do a lot of work on because um, they grow slow. Okay. Know? I, this has been great. I think this is a yeah. dead branch. Just this. That looks like it's dead. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. All right. Well, thank you. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was fast.